we made some news last night endorsing the former president. Um, I'm wondering, you had expressed concerns about his electability in the past. He, last night, his showing with independent voters was somewhat lackluster. Do you have concerns about that as we head into, as we head into November? I think the single most important thing we can do is to uh, replace Joe Biden. Uh, his policies at the border, uh, in terms of America standing around the world, uh, where our enemies don't fear us and our adversaries don't trust us, uh, excuse me, our friends don't uh, can't don't think they can rely on us. So um, I think it's important to unify behind the candidate, and uh, I respect the the voters' choice in Iowa and New Hampshire. I think you'll see that repeated. In South Carolina as well. And what, sir, about, what about down the ticket? I mean, for, in appealing to suburban voters, where Trump has had a difficult time doing. Well, I think if uh, if the president would pick uh, Tim Scott as vice president, I think um, that would be a really a, a good ticket. Um, but I think you're right. There needs to be um, outside, after a primary, there needs to be a broader appeal uh, than just to primary voters. You can't win with just your your own base. But President Biden's got serious problems. I mean, all the polling shows that even Democrats aren't excited about his candidacy. So uh, I like uh, I like President Trump's chances. And sir, another primary say, yesterday. Say, another primary yesterday, where the border was the top issue. This is something that's high in the in the mind of voters. Yeah. How much has that lit a fire and, and made possible these kinds of border negotiations that are going on right now here? Well, I think. President Biden knows he's in trouble, and Democrats know they're in trouble for the open border policies of the last three years. It's been an unmitigated disaster. From the 108,000 Americans died from drugs that have been smuggled across the border to just what's happening in our major cities like New York, Chicago, and elsewhere. Um, and, you know, the birds are coming home to roost. And uh, the Biden administration is struggling to figure out, you know, how can we, how can we how can we mitigate this this damage? Um, I think it's probably too late because this is not something they're going to be able to turn off like like a, a water faucet. But I, if there are things we can do to to um, to make things better, to reduce the flow of humanity coming across the border, I think that's something we ought to consider. Do you say there seems to be a lot of frustration in the conference right now about these talks, the, the direction of these talks. How would you characterize about the mood in the conference right now? Well, I think once people could see what the text is, I think that's the biggest source of frustration is these negotiations have been between a small group of people. And so there's been a lot of speculation. What's in it? What's agreed to? What's not agreed to? So once the text comes out and we can all operate from the same basis of information, I think um, that, that'll be an important uh, development. Do you think it's time for the rest of leadership to endorse the former president?